Guys, today I have for you absolutely legendary combination between Exotic Assault Rifle, St. Elmos and Clutch Talent. This Devil's do backpack with the perfect clutch will do absolutely amazing things for us for the up with St. Elmo's Exotic Assault Rifle because we have 70 bullets in magazine on top of that 850 rate of fire one of the best rate of fires for assault rifle without using measure only highest rate of fire in assault rifle class you can find on FAMAS so this is pretty goddamn close to be really dope and as you see that will allow us to heal instantly and super secret if you did know guys actually your skill kills can trigger clutch talent this is a game changer because you don't have to kill enemies your skills can do the dirty work for you and now you can instantly heal without wasting your med kit simple example i will wait Boom, my turret killed poor soul and I can heal myself. It has no range limitation, no cooldown, nothing. Absolutely insane. On heroic difficulty, this setup is shield free. If shit will hit the fan, of course you can pull out your shield, but basically this build is made for run and gun playstyle and for solo AK lone wolf players. If you are one such like me, this build will be perfect for you and if you are new to my channel hey beautiful bastard hit that like smash that sub because here you're gonna find the best barbecue chicken setups on the freaking market and that's not a cap this is the place where you want to be updated with all the crazy setups in the game with each update mm, build diversity is going nowhere we still don't have it <laughs> psych Right now, we are using only St. Elmo's Exotic Assault Rifle in PvP and PvE. But before we get to this setup, quick word from today's sponsor, Deaving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, then these guys can help you all. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They can boost any character, can get any item you need in any of their supported games. Use my promo code ERBDIV to receive 15% discount on absolutely all services. They have been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. You can check everything by yourself. But now with my promo code ERBDIV, you will find some magic. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Drop your comment down below in the comment section or contact the operator and the rest will be the history. But now, let's get back to this legendary setup. God damn, I love this one. Clutch, don't get me wrong, by itself, oof, it's kinda terrible. Couple years ago, actually, it was a meta. If you are here since day one, you understand what I'm talking about. Clutch was meta, especially paired up with firewall specialization, because by losing armor, you would set on fire nearby agents, throw in the mix high rate of fire SMG such as Vector, and you will have a lot of fun. Unfortunately, massive hate when you have fun in Division 2, so it received nerf, and right now it's kinda terrible. So we have to find the ways how we can make clutch great again by itself. It's kinda terrible, it sucks gets balls, but if we're gonna pair up with some crazy gear sets and exotic chess piece, aka Rigway Sprite chess piece, we can actually find again some fan factor in clutch talent or running with clutch talent. For specialization though you have a couple options. If you're a solo player I would recommend you to go with gunner. Why gunner? Because gunner on kill will give you armor back and of course increased rate of fire and foam grenades can be extremely handy against Chungus, rogue agents, hunters. If you are playing in team survival specialization could be really nice way to go because you are applying status effects all over the place your teammates gonna deal more damage on those enemies your medkit gonna heal your teammates as well and you have fire grenades for crowd control reasons but if you want to play more bleed go with demolition specialization and use artillery turret artillery turret will stagger enemies with those explosions and of course will apply bleed effect that will give you armor reaper from rigway sprite chest piece you can throw in the mix stinger hive so you have a couple options how to use this setup 
For the guns though, I'm using Elmos, St. Elmos Engine Exotic Assault Rifle, it has crazy rate of fire, with gunner specialization you'll receive even more rate of fire on the kill and it slaps hard. It's absolutely beautiful, that increased magazine size, mm, mamma mia, delicious, bellissimo, Jesus man, and it has the best attachments on uh, crit damage, weapon handling, crit chance, mm, and increased magazine size mentioned previously. For the second weapon though, I'm using AK with Optimist, one of the hardest assault rifles in the game. Rate of fire is not that great, but if you need to kill somebody quickly and you run out of ammo, this assault rifle will do dirty job for you. For pistol, I'm using DZ exclusive pistol, perfect uh, orbit, excuse me, with perfect finisher talent. Kill non-elite enemies, switch to your main weapon, boom, you have 40% crit damage. Crit chance is not a problem here. And really uh, important note, if you want to use clutch, make sure that you have at least 55% crit chance. 50, I feel is not working that efficient as I would love to see, so 55 is the number you should target if you want to use a clutch. I'm using four pieces from ongoing directive gear set. The main thing here that actually you have increased status effect, reload speed, which will increase your DPS output instantly, and that helps with clutch really well because you are spending less time in the reload animation, you can shoot much shoot much frequently, you have higher DPS per minute and you can survive much longer. And in terms of my numbers, as you see, 130% crit damage, 58% crit chance, like I said, 55 is bare minimum. Uh, if you don't have 55, you could find hard times with clutch. So make sure, uh, make a favor for yourself, reach 55% crit chance. For chest piece, I'm using rigorous break chest piece. If I will apply bleed effect on five enemies, I will receive 48% armor reaper for a couple seconds. That's pretty goddamn impressive, especially when we have 70 bullets in magazine and ongoing directive by killing status affected enemies will give us hello ammo that's amplified weapon damage and your teammates as well will receive those bullets. So we are dealing tons and tons of damage. We are applying status effects all over the place. We are slowing enemies on top of that we are applying shock effect from our exotic assault rifle and that hel helps us to heal even more because now enemies can't shoot at us and can we can heal for the skills like I said, demo specialization, artillery turret will be absolutely amazing. You can throw in the Stinger Hive, you have Shock Trap you to stop enemies, you have, of course, uh, Sharpnel Trap to apply bleed effect, you have Seeker Mine to apply bleed effect, Stinger Hive, Healing Station, Reviver Hive, it really depends on your preference. I'm using Shock Trap, really nice on legendary difficulties to stop drones and all that shit. Butcher drops the mic, bye!